All right, welcome back YouTubers, scrappers, fellow refiners, and metal recovery enthusiasts. Today, we are continuing to go after the copper cell and silver cell slimes. That's uh, boiling in dilute nitric acid. I'm gonna turn that off and let that settle down. And we're going to refilter and then run anything left that's in that in AR. I've got to recover this little bit of cemented out silver and reduce this down so that I can put it in a bottle back here and reuse that. Uh, and in the corner there, you'll see that's still to be recovered. That's uh, some silver nitrate and copper nitrate in solution. And this is what's left of the copper cell we're going after kind of getting tired of this it's taking up a lot of room and I need to if I increase the amps and the voltage it makes the stuff fluffy there the copper on the cathode right and I probably need to go back to the sheets that I were using and get rid of the brain coral it's been fun but it's not really effective, um, so I need to put on my big boy pants and pull that out and do something different with that. And this is the silver that was recovered from those fuses and that contact batch. So not a bad yield, I think. We'll see, you know, it's always different, the cement weight versus the actual weight when you pour the shot. So that's what we have and I'll, uh, got a little update on the copper pins I put in acid peroxide if you give me a second I'll go out and get that so we're rolling this is uh, a solution saturated it's probably got a lot of iron chloride in here I've added some uh, HCl today it's been bubbling this week and I just haven't been able to get it to that green emerald color like you see right there uh, but I feel like we're going to put this in my AP bucket and then um, we'll put some more HCL on that I was staring at that mud there and the pens I think some of that is, I, I put in a mixed batch of pens and I was hoping that the AP would attack it and leave me, but there's, you know, there's always that little sand and stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll filter and process, but I think I've got a couple more weeks. I need to put some gloves on before I lift it up and touch it. The pens are still, uh, Need, I need to dissolve them because they're not floating on top. You know what I mean? So when you see them on top, you know they're done. And they're not. So there's still probably some iron and some copper and what have you in them. Anyway, it's going to be a couple more weeks on that. All right. Uh, I've come up with a plan. Uh, we're going to decant and filter. I need this. We're going to filter and recover the silver. I'm going to pour this into here and then filter into that and then I've got some material to put in the silver cell to start it up so we're not going to waste time with decanting and filtering we'll come back to the good stuff all right all right sorry for the noise but it's my hood going this is the magic everyone loves to see that silver coming out of solution and copper this was from the slimes uh, and I am starting to decant the solution and just cement it out on top of pipe. So here you have at it. We'll come back to it in a little bit. There's a side view of the silver building up. And uh, we'll you know, come back and filter that off and get a, get a weight uh, in a little while. And still got some more yard work to do and clean up some of this scrap stuff, the shred steel, the plastic, and all that. And I've got to get that out of here. It's really clogging up the garage or excuse me, my workshop. So, there we have the semen 
presentation of silver on copper pipe. So double displacement. Copper is going into solution and the silver is falling out of the silver nitrate, like you see right here. So we'll, uh, it's real fluffy too, man. So, you know, it looks like a lot, but man, when you try it, pour it and shot, you'll, you'll find a complete difference. It's, uh, there, there you go, man. I'll set the camera up when I uh, get some more decantation off of it. And what you want to call it. And, uh, there you go. So we're uh, filtering this off. There's still, uh, this still is going to need a uh, cotton filter and uh, we'll put it in here to get a um, idea of how much silver we collected from the silver slimes and the copper slimes. What I think I'm going to do is boil this liquid down some or evaporate it down some and then test for PMGs in here and maybe treat it accordingly. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we need to find out what's, what's in the solution, really. Um, instead of just pushing it back into the stock pot. So, you know, we've got a couple options here. Well, the silver is getting out really nicely. Uh, we want to cover that piece of copper pipe. So, welcome back. We are cementing out that silver from the silver slimes. It looks like there's just a little bit of nitric in there if you can see right here we've got just it looks like a little bit of orange haze and some activity in that beaker there and uh, I'm trying to filter out the solution here to put into the beaker I'm done with this for the night we're just gonna let that clear up and I'll mess with it in the morning you guys say hello to my lab cat she's the half feral cat that not get along with anyone and uh, she apparently likes to talk during videos <coughs> say hello <coughs> so there she is let's go back to chemistry all right we're closing it up for the night and uh, I've got to uh, I guess I gotta feed her or something take care of her anyway hey man thanks for watching So, welcome back. You can see here, this is the silver that we have been working on from the copper and silver slimes that we've gone after. I'm gonna give that a quick stir so it's not sitting in the copper and to get, you know, everything in contact. Yeah, we still got a little bit of free nitric in there, believe it or not. I can see a slight orange tint right here and that bubbling back then. And I probably should put some silver or something in there and make sure I used it all up. And man, this silver looks good. Anyway, I'm gonna stir it up and we'll come back to it later. And we'll probably pull that solution out in 24 hours and start cleaning that cement up. Well, welcome back to my channel. This is the silver that I had recovered from the silver cell anode slimes and the copper cell anode slimes. And I took this copper pipe out this morning because I was thinking I would pour that solution off today uh, and um, put some silver in it because it kept attacking the copper. You could see the orange cloud that was here this morning, right? It was here. <clears throat> and all right, first of all, no, I'm not wearing gloves, but I'm not going to do any chemical work. It's just, I'm going to stay away from it. 
Anyway, you see this area right here, the silver? That area has dissolved. That solution has dissolved like half the silver from this morning. So I don't think I'm going to need to put, you know, some sterling silver in that solution to tear up the, or use up the nitric acid, the free nitric acid. I'm just going to let it dissolve the silver and then I'll cement it out. We'll, uh, it's uh, pretty saturated. Um, it looks like it's almost stopped. It's got, it's cleared up a little, but I'll probably have to pour that off and I'll just put it into that jar there and put some sterling silver or something in it to just make sure it's used up. But man, like half my silver is in solution. I think that's kind of funny that there really was more volume of silver this morning than there is now. But anyway, hey, you know, you just, uh, like I said, you, Sometimes you got to pivot, you know, or step back and, and punt. But that silver looks pretty good. And uh, I have to announce the subscriber bar giveaway. Congratulations, Scrapping on the Fly. Um, there are only two subscribers that came up with the answers. Maybe I'm making it too hard for people. But uh, we'll get that out to you soon, man. Thanks. Hello, welcome back. At 6.44. No, look, 6.46 .46 grams from the silver fuses, silver cut plated fuses, and the silver contacts. All right, we're starting up the copper cell now that I've got a little bit more room in here to work with. You see here, I'm starting to put out these were pieces from uh, some commercial breakers that were silver plated that I took the silver off of last year with a sulfuric acid and nitric solution and stripped them off. We're just going to cover, recover whatever little bit of silver's on there. And um, I really would like to use it to dissolve um, those anodes right there. See with the holes that look kind of like Swiss cheese. I just want to put those on top and hopefully we can put that into a uh, solution and then get it onto that copper brain cathode and call it a day so that's what we have for that so far these are more of those silver plated uh, commercial breakers that i will put that solution in it's still got a little bit of nitric i can see it attacking that copper pipe so i might as well get it to dissolve this silver and uh you know make use of it so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the solution in there. We're going to let that sit and then check it out in a couple of days. So we're going to get a little weight or an idea of how much we've recovered from the copper and the silver slimes that we processed. It's still just a little damp, but i got to get it out of that burn that paper up. So that's 37. I'm going to need to use both hands, so I'm going to set this down and come back in just a second. 46 grams of silver recovered from the copper and silver slimes. And you know, there's a little bit in there, but I'm just going to put that in the paper filters and roll on. That was 47, then decided to go to 46, so could probably pop it. Safely 46 grams recovered. Not too bad, you know. Uh, melt that up and pour it in shot and add it to the collection to be run through the silver cell. So I forgot to tell you this. You know, I've been cementing out that silver um, and using up that free nitric that was in there. I put a piece of copper pipe in there. And uh, I don't know why it takes me so long to do things the right way, but I put some of the silver plated stuff in there to attack the silver and there's copper underneath that. So I figured it would just cement out, you know, um, kind of run low on the sterling silver. Not going to lie, I got to re-up. I'm out. <clears throat> and uh, man, it's just... It's uh, getting out of reach for me because everyone's buying it. And eBay, you really can't find deals. And, look, man, they are snatching it up. They're paying more for it than it's worth on spot, you know, for the local estates. So I've been, you know, cautious about that. 
anyway, we, you know, have used this silver plated stuff to cement out. We'll, we'll get that out and I'll reduce this down. And we're going to put a stainless test on that and see what's in that solution. But uh, it's not a bad, not a bad day today. 46 grams of silver recovered from the slimes. 6.3, uh, 6.43 recovered from the silver contacts and those fuses. So we're about 52 grams. That's not too bad.